they have the front tires on the tire truer. I'm going to turn them down just to their true. I'm not going to make them any smaller at this point. Just going to turn them down to make them true. Okay. <clears throat> now cutting the same on both sides. <clears throat> so we're going to switch grits. So what I'm doing on the sides is removing any excess rubber, sidewall rubber. Like I said before, the front tires are not steering nor are they pulling. They need just more skis for stabilization. So we do not need all the excess rubber. Around the edges of all Don't want the car to, to be able to grip to hit the sharp edge. So I round the edges off. The other thing I do to the front tires is I angle them. So I cut more off the inside than I do the outside. Not a lot. And the reason again is you just don't need all that rubber. The front wheels, on the other hand, are treated completely differently. They shouldn't build up any grip in a slot car. That would hinder the racing car. Michael uses tires made of a foam rubber and seals them with super glue. Here, he works with a relatively large amount of glue. Respiratory protection and safety goggles are mandatory. But why smooth front tires? A slot car is kept in the track by the guide. This runs in a slot in the track. The principle is known from the Carrera track. Ideally, a slot car runs only on three points, the guide and the two driving rear wheels. 
The front wheels have a purely supporting function. And so that they do not cause braking in curves, they must not build up adhesion on the track. Michael grinds the tires sealed with superglue with increasingly finer grit. The result is a surface that is as smooth as possible and yet hard at the same time, which does not create any grip on the track. Finally, the tires are polished. The front tires also have the same rounding of the sidewall as the originals. Their appearance contributes to the perfect reproduction of the original. <laughs>